Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, in this episode, we are mining a oil shell. We got quite a bit of oil shell. I'm um, just about finished with this. I have a little over a minute left on my rock busters, so I'm going to keep going until that's done, and then I think we'll have a nice load of oil shell to take back to our base and start making gasoline um, in mass. And, uh, yeah, it's been a... Been a long time coming. I know I keep saying that, but man, I'll tell you what, compared to vanilla, getting getting gasoline production going in this mod is a chore. Yes, it is. Uh, but we finally got her done. So uh, this is my um, oil shell mine. We are just kind of on the edge of the desert here. I did stop by uh, Trader Jen here and did the opening trade routes quest that we got from Trader Hugh. So we are now into tier three with Trader Hugh in the wasteland. And, um, yeah, so this, this is basically where we are for this, uh, oil shell mine, but I have quite a bit already up in the bike too. Um, and we've got a little bit of iron too. So what do you know about that? Um, let's make sure. Oh, look at that. Mining tools is now level 99. That's amazing. And I also have, um, put a point into... Uh, minor 69 or two, so that is now level two, and we're going to just keep cranking that all the way up to uh, maxing that out. Okay, so we're still good on being able to get on the bike here. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got so far. We'll put all the heaviest stuff over here. And, yeah, we've got, uh, let's sort by type. So we have 1,571 oil shale, 1,400 and some odd sand, a 1,600 small stone, 763 large. Uh, some iron ore and stuff there, too. I, I picked up a couple of stumps on the way over here. And we got some meat, too. I killed uh, a mountain lion and a dire wolf and even a bear. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing really good. That's the mine. And I think um, that's probably enough to get us well on our way. So why don't we go ahead and... Uh, well, actually, you know what? Before we head back, can I e-pick those? I can. I'm going to go around and pick uh, a bunch of aloe uh, for bandages. So I'll probably spend the rest of the day or, or at least most of the rest of the day we might as well get some yucca too while we're here uh picking aloe and yucca and then i will meet you guys back at the base and we are going to make some gasoline tonight yes indeed we are so i will see you guys back at the base oh that just got us a little bit heavy man we were right on the border weren't we okay uh i do want to bring some aloe and yucca back with me all right most certainly do. So we're going to need to, I think the easiest thing to come by is small stone. So let's get rid of that stack of small stone and uh, see how much aloe and yucca we can get after doing that. We might as well pick some bird's nest while we're here too. Okay. Well, anyway, I will see you guys um, back at the base and we will make a whole crap ton of gasoline. Can't wait. All right, guys, we are at our uh, treasure location. Um, so I figured we'd hit this on the way back, but we're going to have to drop some stuff off because we're just right at the very limit of our weight capacity on the, in the motorcycle. So let's grab all of the stone out of here and all of the wood and maybe half of the large stone and see... Uh, uh, there's a, yeah, there's a backpack here. And what we'll do is we'll put this stuff in here and just leave it here and come back for it later, maybe. <laughs> um, okay. So what we'll do is we'll mark this as a drop chest. Okay. Um... So, let's see if we can knock this out really quick. Um, I don't know if the southwest corner thing is still a thing in the game, but let's just start in the southwest corner and see what what we can do here. All right, we got some company here. Come on out of there, dumbass. Got a bird on us? What about this bird? He 
You coming down? Looks like he's going to leave us alone. We, we do need to be careful about that bar. Okay, so I think we've pretty much centered it somewhere around here, but it's obviously a little deeper down in the dirt, so let's keep digging right about in the center here. And there it is right there. Okay, so we're going to put the, our Lucky Looters back on. We have an eye candy. We're going to take that. And uh, let's see if we can open this sucker up. That lock pick is toast. So we'll go to Bobby Pin. Oh, that one was toast too. Okay. Nice that we don't have to use a jailbreaker candy anymore to do this. Well, not for this one anyway. I think our lock picking skill is at to 75 just naturally. Right there. Oh, so close. And there we go. Let's see what we get. Uh, really? Okay. That's not that good. As, as you know, as far as treasure chests go, particularly considering we had lucky looters and eye candy, that kind of sucked. I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I will meet you guys back at the base, and we are going to make some gasoline. Yeah, yes, indeed. Well, looks like we have a thing here that's going to need some attention. Some repairing attention. All right, you know what? You're pissing me off. Don't have time for this shit. You either. All right, anybody else? Looks like we got ourselves an abrasion, so let's take one of these. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring some concrete down here to repair that. We will be putting a drawbridge up here soonish. So that is the plan. Whoa. Nice dodge there, Marlene. grab all of the stuff out of here. It's going to make us seriously heavy, but we do have a drop chest right up at the top of the ladder here. So we'll put the heaviest uh, items in here. That should be good enough. Is that enough for us to move? Mm. Yeah, let's put that in there too. There, now we should be able to move. Okay, I'm going to broadcast this chest so we can pull this stuff uh, directly out of here, too. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get some coal powder going. So let's get that going first. That will make us 8,800 coal powder. I also want to make some stone powder. Um, how about if we make, say, 300 from the small stones? And 800 from the large stones. Nope, 800. I hate it when it does this. Oh, come on, you stupid son of a bitch. 800. <laughs> 800. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we got that going. And um, so I've got a whole bunch of inventory management to do here. So let me get that taken care of. And then uh, when we're ready to start the gasoline up, because this is an important moment, you guys. It's taking such a long time to get here. I'll bring you guys back and we'll get started on making some gas. Yes, indeed. Look at all the meat we got. That's really good. All right, let's grab uh, what we currently have for coal powder there. And... Go ahead and put some of that in there and make 14 things of gasoline because that's what we have for cans. Now, I think we can make the cans themselves too, right? Uh, gas can. Yeah, that takes steel. But you know what? 14 enough. I, I think that's going to hold us in good stead for quite some time. 
All right, nice. So it is night time. We made ourselves a little more honey there. Let's put the rest of this coal powder in here for now. Let that continue to uh, make even more of that stuff. Let's see what's left in our drop chest now. Okay, can I take all of that? Yes, I can. Okay, it's a bit heavy, but we can take all of it. So we'll put that stuff in there. Um, I'm going to start putting oil shale and oil and gas, extra gasoline and stuff in this chest. And we have a big pile of sand, which is really good. Really, really good. So as soon as we can get uh, more of that stone powder done, then we can start uh, cranking out some, some concrete too. Uh, so I got this guy working on iron. He gets in some, a uh, little bit of concrete there. And... Let's go up here and grab what's done so far. Oh, wow. Those t those uh, don't take long at all, do they? Okay, so we'll grab those. And we're going to go back down to the bike. I wanted to grab some, excuse me, a little bit of cement too, uh, just to repair that, that one ramp that we need to repair. So let's do that. And we'll top off the motorcycle and put some extra fuel inside of it. Oh, sounds like we got quite a few zombos down here. That's par for the course. Okay, so let's fill the gas completely up there. We're gonna put two full tanks of gas inside the motorcycle. Uh, it might be a little bit risky for me to try and repair this. That sounds like a lot of zombies. All right, let's hold off on doing that then. We don't have to do that right away anyways. We'll head back up here. If we can lure them to the other side, then we can just kill them from our little uh, trap that we have going on over there. Now, um, we, let's also top this off so we have a backup uh, on the mini bike, and maybe we'll even put one full tank of fuel in there too. And that still leaves us quite a bit of fuel left over that we can use for like chainsaws and. Um, uh, let's see, the, the uh, Valkyrie drill. Okay, get those out of there. Maybe we should not keep that in there anymore. Maybe we'll put an extra storage bin next to there. You know what? Actually, let's just keep it in here for now. Oh, look at all that gas. It's such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing. Okay, so oil shale. Is that... Oh, you know what? I'll bet you... Let's turn that off. I'll bet you this container is not broadcasted because I haven't been using it till now. Yeah. Okay. So let's put all the full gasoline in here. And we have one tank left that we can still do. And then that uses up all of our tanks. And yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to spend steel making more gas cans at this point because... We have quite a few already. We'll keep finding them too as time goes on. And uh, I think we'll be fine in that regard. Okay, so we're doing good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like so stoked that we finally have gas. It's been, I know I've said this a couple times now, but it's been a long time coming. <laughs> it really has. So let's put that back in there for now. Um, so we're just waiting for that stone dust to finish, and then we can start making some more of that stuff. Let's put all these ingots in here. We have 262 iron ingots, 98 plating. I think we're going to turn the bulk of this. Let's hang on to make like maybe 40 of those. Let's turn this into steel. Uh, so what was the re... Oh yeah, we haven't learned the magazine to make this uh, we can make the steel arrowheads, but we can't make the actual arrows themselves yet. Uh, no, we got to do that in here, don't we? Okay, so steel ingots. I'm going to temporarily turn the broadcast off on that so I don't use... So I just use what's in here. All right, so let's get 111 steel ingots going. We'll turn this broadcast back on. And then those will probably turn into, mostly into steel plating. Okay, we're in good shape. So, um, what are we going to do? We are, let me look at something here real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Uh, it's This will be a little bit shorter episode than what nor I normally do, but uh, I think we're kind of at a good stopping point. So I might do some uh, mining at nighttime. And then tomorrow, we're going to get back to uh, questing because we need to... Uh, we need to get more research data so we can upgrade our workbenches and keep, you know, upgrading pretty much everything else. I do want to make a... Uh, I do want to make a disassembly station, too. Knock those guys all the way down to the bottom. Uh, what does it take to do that? Actually, let's take a quick look here. If we go here and we do disassembly... Residential single meter disconnect. Commercial single. So it looks like there's only one of these, and it looks like we can make it. I don't think there's any it does, it, There's any higher tiers in this. And we should have all that stuff to do that. So I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's take care of these Zeeks. And then uh, we'll make the disassembly station before I let you go. Come on up, boys and girls. It looked like the sledgehammer kicked him all the way up in here. Go down, Anchor. <laughs> that spider zombie, like, way the hell out there. That's funny. One thing I could maybe do is put a whole shit ton of, like, iron spikes down below here. You know, the zombies will avoid them when they're running up here, but then when they get knocked off, they're going to get knocked right off into the spikes. One thing I don't like about spikes, though, is, you know, unless you spec into it, I don't think you get any XP for the spike kills. All right, so that... Just about cleans them out. There's a couple more coming there, as you can see. We'll just uh, take them out with a shotgun. That son of a bitch is tough. He always has been. All right, we got Jiggly coming there. That's why I like the choke so much, because it gives us a, a little bit more range, I think. Okay, that's probably most of those guys. All right, so let's see. We need to gather a few things. We need five of these. Ten of these. Yep, we got more company coming. It's a spider, so... Use the shotgun on his ass since he stays low. Oh, more coming. What do we got? A nut sack. All right. Shotgun him. Cut that out. Are we done? think so. Okay. All right. What else do we need? We need 40 scrap iron. We need 50 plastic. pipes. Fifteen paper. Two glue. 
and two duct tape. All right, let's make this sucker. Uh, oh, craft it in workbench. Okay. So let's go to workstations, disassembly station, craft. It'll take 20 seconds. And yeah, it doesn't look like there is there's higher tiers of the disassembly, which is fine with me. And I am curious as to what kinds of things we're going to be able to get out of this. Um, I had meant, I might have mentioned earlier, maybe I did, and I can't remember now. When you guys were telling me in the comments though that I can get acid from, or you thought I could get acid from the uh, putting batteries in the disassembly station. So, oh my goodness, where are we going to put this thing? Uh, I don't really want to put it up there. Okay, let's just put it there for now. All right, so let's take a battery and oh, you get two things of acid plus all this other stuff. Nice. That's not bad and some research data too. Okay. Um, old books. If we scrap old books, we get that. Okay, circuit boards give us all of this. All right, I, don't really, I don't really want to take apart the books and circuit boards because we need uh, the books in particular. We still need those. Um, Did it pull? It must have pulled that from our storage because this one is still here. That's what I'm guessing. That's not a bad deal, though, man. Uh, for two acids and five research data, this stuff is, you know negligible but not bad at all we might uh, end up breaking down several of those um all right what do we get what else could we break down uh what would we get if we broke down let's grab A lever action rifle. What I want to do is I want to see if higher quality weapons give you more parts. Uh, but in order to do this, we have to do an apples to apples comparison. Okay, so we've got we got this D level hunting rifle, and we have the A level hunting rifle. Let's take the mod off of this. The mods off of that. Man, I am so like running out of room here for stuff. Put those two in there, put this one in there. Okay, so if we. Oh, that's great. I love it. Uh. Oh. Okay, it looks like we're limited as to what we can use in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see... Is there... Okay, let me see. Is there an upgrade option? There isn't. Okay, so we're just... I guess we're just limited to this stuff here then. Oh, that kind of sucks. What gives us the most research data? That, that's all given us two. That gives... Flashlights give three. Excuse me. Batteries give five. All right. Well, it looks like batteries are the thing, man. Okay, so we can't take apart weapons, unfortunately, uh, in the disassembly station. So at least we know that now. And I am so like... I mean, I have room. I just have to redistribute some stuff here. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Let's just put... You know what? Let's use this for weapon overflow until I have a chance to deal with it. Okay. So, the thing is, though, did this take... No, it's just using an H-level battery. So, it's using the cheap one.
Okay. It's hmm. All right. I'm not sure about something. Let's do this. Let's remove the broadcast, and let's take these cheapest batteries that we have. So we have four. Uh, we have some G's and F's. I know we can make money on these too, but uh, we, we got plenty of money. So that's going to give us some research data and some acid, and then you know the plastic and stuff too. So that's pretty cool. Okay. I I wish. I wish we had more options than what's here, but, you know, it is what it is. We could be picking up monitors and getting parts from that stuff, too. Computers. So, I like it. I like it. I, like I said, I just wish we had a few more options, but looks like that's just the way it is. Just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Let's grab this steel out of here. Um, do we, we don't have any steel ingots in here. What do we need steel ingots for straight up? Let's look. Here's how many steel hinges do I already have? I have 28. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to turn all of this just into the plating because the plating is much more widely used than the ingots are. Steel railing, steel rebar. A wrench. Oh, you know what, though? I would like to make a, rat a ratchet. Well, you know what, though? I can only make... I, I keep saying, you know what, though? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I can make an H level ratchet and it's probably not going to be good as good as an A level salvage wrench. I thought I looked into that at one point too. We could try and upgrade it though. We could try and upgrade. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. We, we still want to turn all of this stuff into steel plating. Uh, so let's do that now. And we'll put that up in there. Wait a minute. Why didn't it use these resources to make that? What the hell? That happened last time. I, I, I made something else one or two episodes ago, and it didn't actually use the resources. That's weird. Okay. Well, ain't my fault, man. Looks like a game bug, though. So let's just put all this stuff back. I guess we get it back. Not complaining per se, but on the other hand... I kind of wished it, that it did work the way that it was supposed to, but what whatevs. All right, you guys. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you go here, and um, we need to start thinking about... We need to start thinking about uh, what our next move is in terms of upgrades to our workstations. Um, a maintenance station tier 3 would be nice, an artisan's table... We should probably take all of our tier ones and get those up to tier twos. Um, so we can upgrade the mechanics, the artisans we can upgrade. So we'll probably work on getting the artisans upgraded. We've already upgraded the carpenter and the workbench. I don't think we have an upgrade for the chem bench. Let's just double check that. Yeah, there's no upgrade option for that. And no upgrade option for the mortar and pestle. This is already a tier three, so that's completely upgraded. Uh, ballistics... Okay, so we could also do a ballistics table upgrade too. So let's plan on starting with the artisan, and then we'll probably hit the me the mechanics, and then uh, the ballistics, or maybe the other way around. Get everything to two, and then we'll start working on getting stuff up to three. These guys are already two. I don't think there. Yeah, there isn't a, a third upgrade path for either one of those. So that's as good as those are going to get. Um, in order to do this, this is the stuff we need. So we need research data, of course. Everything else is relatively easy to do. So that means in the next episode, we get back out and we start questing again and working on our tier threes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.